Children on the Tohono O'odham Nation being targeted to help push drugs into Arizona. It's a new strategy federal agents say is being used by the Mexican drug cartels. ABC 15's Navita Fergani spoke to a teen who was approached by the cartel and finds out what the community is now doing to help fight the war on drugs. I thought my life was about to end right there. He was 13 in handcuffs and facing federal charges for drug smuggling. At the time, this Tohono O'odham teen says he didn't realize the consequences of his decision. He asked us to protect his identity. All they do is ask me if I wanted to join. Say, so, yeah, that was going to be an easy process. The job pick up a load of drugs stashed on the Tohono O'odham Nation and take it to Tucson. In return, he'd get 2000 in cash. I was thinking I could do a lot with this money. The day came to do the deal. They dropped us off in like, the middle of nowhere and they told us to walk it. Uh, across the checkpoint. We started hearing scanners and dogs and people talking all four directions. So right then and there we knew we were going to get caught. While it was the beginning of the end for this young teen, members say this was the beginning of a new strategy the Mexican drug cartel was using. They want to get tribal members because they think that that will be their ticket into the communities. The cartel is, is, is slowly trying to gain a foothold in the tribal community. So they target kids as young as 11 to carry 50 to 60 pound bags of drugs to drop off points. It's a trend tribal leaders say the nation is working to stop. It's a dangerous situation, the, but a lot of them are willing to take that, I guess if you want to call it, no fear status. There are telling their people that if you're going to do that, you no longer are allowed in the community. A community that's keeping a watchful eye, hoping to send a strong message to anyone that's trying to lure their kids into the drug business. They're not my friends if they're trying to get me to do something that I know I don't want to do. In cells, Navita Fergani, ABC 15 News.